Howdy, everybody, and welcome to the Fifth Dimensional Awareness class, the monthly Mother Marriage Ex with Kimberly Meredith. This event is being recorded, and you'll be able to access replays on demand. If you choose to interact with Kimberly today, you'll also be recorded and appear for replay and educational purposes. If you want to maintain your anonymity, you can decline if you're calling. Otherwise, we ask you to please kindly turn on your cameras and keep your microphone muted and mute yourself, uh, unmute yourself only when you're talking with Kimberly. And then we'll ask if you could try to stay away from any background noises so that we can keep a peaceful atmosphere for everyone involved. And we ask if you would like to be called on, please turn your webcams on. Kimberly works through her eyes. And so she uses her eyes to feel through spirit who should be calling. So if you want to be called on, you might want to turn on your webcam. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me a chat in the chat box to the technical support. Uh, and replays of this and all events will be available at Kimberly's on-demand library at our website, thetrailingtrilogy.com, where you can get access to many of the past events, as well as many upcoming events, as well as some that are free of charge, um, as well as joining the annual membership so you can access all of the videos all together. Kimberly Meredith is a world-renowned medical medium and healer who has helped thousands of people around the world. Following an accident that resulted in two near-death experiences, she received miraculous healing gifts from the Holy Spirit. Kimberly's abilities have been scientifically validated by numerous research institutes, in addition to hosting the syndicated radio hit, the Medical, Medi the Medical Intuitive Radio Show, Miracle Show. Kimberly is also a frequent guest on numerous nationally syndicated radio shows and podcasts. Kimberly's new book, available today, Awakening to the Fifth Dimension, Discovering the Soul's Path to Healing is available everywhere where books are sold. And so starting soon right now is our monthly Mother Mary Matrix with Kimberly Meredith. Thank you, Q. Can everybody hear us okay? Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Mother Mary class. We have a beautiful group today. So um, that interview that was on, you can get the full interview um, on my YouTube channel, which is Kimberly Meredith's channel, The Holy Spirit. So welcome to our Mother Mary class. Uh, lovely seeing all of you today. Um, this class is an interactive co-healing group. We've been doing it for quite a few years now. Lots of replays are at the video on demand store. Uh, thank you, Q, for our introduction. And normally what goes on if you're new to our class is we do a meditation and we go into this deep, beautiful meditation. And then after that, we do some mediumship readings and co-healing, which we bring people into an inner circle. And um, how many here are healers? Are mediums? Oh, great. That's awesome. I know I see a lot of friends, uh, our healing, um, co-healing group friends are here. And I see some new people here. Hi, Kat. Nice to see you. Yeah, from Clubhouse. And um, great. Hi, Bill. Nice seeing you. And Ross is here. And we're going to do a healing on Kate. Yes. So yeah, we're going to have a great class. And then at the end of the class, we do prayer requests. So if you have a family friend, um, or you need a prayer, uh, we'll, Q is going to tell you when to put that in the chat um, towards the end. And please limit that to one person uh, prayer request. And then um, I just want you to be prepared that um, this is a very high energy class. So lots of people send me emails later or they send um, a confirmation. If you did have a powerful, miraculous healing today, please let us know about it. Um, it didn't, if it didn't happen like right this minute, like in the next two hours, if it happened like a day later or a month later, please email us back and let us know. Okay. If you've had a shift, miracle healing, something happened, please let us know what has gone on in your life. We like to hear the news. Um, also, if you've read the book, Awakening to the Fifth Dimension, and you've had a healing through the, reading the book, um, please, I really appreciate you leaving me a review wherever you've bought the book. Someone recently said they 
listened to the book and they had a miraculous healing through listening to the book. So we were really grateful for that. We were grateful for the reviews. So um, let's all start right now by rubbing our hands together, activating our palms, and understanding that we are in the ascension. We are excited about that. This is the time to really be in the energy of the Virgin Mary. Let's say the Hail Mary together to start the class out. <sighs> Going into our breath. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed for thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let's say in our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And rubbing your hands together again, we'll say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. And we're going to say, as it was in the beginning, is now and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. We're thanking everyone for attending today. And we're honoring the divine feminine. Amen. Centering our feet, if you have your feet on the floor or if you're sitting, just really relaxing getting ready for the next few hours, being in this beautiful energy of the fifth dimension. I want to say how grateful I am that we're all here together. And I want to also say, I have picked out some amazing affirmations as we're gonna do this beautiful meditation. How important it is to know that we have this beautiful consciousness that every single person here has a consciousness and that it's important that we know that as we go through this ascension, our consciousness is going to be moved in different directions. It has this ego, it gets frightened, um, it gets worried, fearful, angry, um, and then it feels love. And when we have the energy of love and calmness, it feels better as we're moving in the ascension. Does everybody agree? That is the Holy Spirit. That's what we want to be in that energy field. So I picked out some beautiful affirmations as we do the meditation. What I plan on doing today is taking deep breaths. So some of you have done the meditation with me. Um, we could take our two pointer fingers and our thumb, put them together, take a deep breath, inhale, feeling our lungs up with the fifth dimension breath, hold on four, one, two, three, four, and then exhale like that. Inhale and exhale. Now I can't do that because I'm going to be saying the affirmations as you're hearing them, <laughs> but you're going to be doing the inhale and exhale. The inhale, hold on for and exhale. I'm going to be saying these beautiful affirmations. Now, if you choose to say them with me or you choose to do the inhale and exhale, it's up to you whatever you want to do. Some people like to just hear me say them. Some people want to say them with me and some people want to do the breath. It's up to you. We're also going to be showing some slides, some beautiful images that Q has made for us. And we're going to hear some very, very low, soft music so you can hear my voice. How does that all sound? It's very lovely. Yes, very lovely. Now, also, why this is going on, remember, everybody has spirit guides. Everybody has their angels. Everybody has their ascending masters. They have guides that have chosen you from the other side. That could be relatives. Your guides are actually, and I do this in sessions, I find people's guides that have chosen you. Lots of times their grandmothers, their mothers that have crossed. They're in the room here too. This is a very full room. <laughs> so let's go. 
Let's do it. Let's do our meditation. I'm not picky, however you want to do it. If you want to do the breath or if you want to say the affirmations out loud. So here we go. Let's rock it. Yeah. Let's start with some breath at first. Really stay focused. No cell phones, no looking down, center focused in the third eye. I'm going to turn my voice up. <sighs> Life loves me. Taking that deep breath, inhale and exhale. All is well in my world. It's only a thought and thoughts can be changed. Taking that deep breath and holding on for an exhale. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Every thought we think is creating our future. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Hold on four and exhale. You want to put your hands over your heart chakra. It is safe to look within. Inhale. And exhale. I forgive myself and set myself free. I forgive myself and set myself free. Again, take a deep breath. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four, and exhale through the nose. Inhale and exhale. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful, everybody. Great. Keep focusing on your third eye and your breath. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do.
I am willing to let go. And be loved. Take a deep breath. Keep your breath going. Very good. Inhale. Hold on for and exhale. And this one, I really want everybody to concentrate. Inhale. Very good. Listen to the beautiful music and exhale. I welcome miracles into my life. And then inhale on four and exhale. Taking your hands and activating your palms, putting it on the crown of your chakra. Taking your deep breath. Whatever I need to know is revealed to me. <sighs> Whatever I need to know is revealed to me. Beautiful. Whatever I need to know is revealed to me. And taking your hands gently, putting them back into your lap. I am loved and I am at peace. So then keeping a breath going. My thoughts are happy. My body is healthy. Breathing in and out again on four. My thoughts are happy. My body is healthy. Inhale and exhale. Activate your palms again. Good job. Putting it over your heart again, your heart chakra. Life supports me in every possible way. Deep breath, centering the focus on your third eye. Inhale and exhale. The past is over. The past is over. Let's all say that three times. The past is over. I'm in the fifth dimension. Only good can come to me. Taking a very deep breath, holding it on four. And as you release your breath, say, I honor who I am.
Once again, breathing out, I honor who I am. Beautiful. We're going to say a few more affirmations, staying very concentrated. Breathing in. Good. I see a lot of you doing exceptionally well with this uh, meditation. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. We're going to say a few more and concentrating on your third eye. I attract only healthy relationships. And think about these affirmations, take them deeply into your body and your spiritual mind, penetrate them through your body and your spiritual mind. And here's one that is very important that sends chills through my body, rubbing your hands together, putting them in any chakra of your body that you want. I experience love wherever I go. And say that a couple of times. I experience love wherever I go. And then rub your hands together and put this one around your throat and swallow. And you're going to laugh at this one probably. <laughs> I drink lots of water. <laughs> and swallow. And I'm saying this because this helps cleanse your mind and your body, drinking lots of water and hydrating. Okay, and then I wanna say one last one. My body appreciates how I love and take care of myself. spiritually and physically. Let's end on that. Let's rub our hands together, activating our palms again, putting it on our crown chakra. And let's just sit there in, in spirit for a second with the guides and breathe. Looking at the beautiful music in the pictures, if you'd like, I'm just relaxing as I go around the room and give a blessing to everybody. It is safe for me to speak up for myself. Ha. Ha. Namaste. We are all eternal spirit. Beautiful. just keep saying, I believe and I'm receiving my healing right now. Beautiful. And just taking that energy of the Holy Spirit into your crown chakra, the omnipresent coming in to your top of your head and cupping it in, sealing in the energy of the crown. Feeling the energy going through the top of your crown. Taking that in right now. Beautiful. As we're all here together in the beautiful energy of the fifth dimension, we're all here for the same purpose. To feel the love, throw th love flow through our bodies. Healing all dis-ease mentally, 
emotionally and physically. The Holy Spirit wants to heal us. Holy Spirit is so available for us and loves when we call in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit says, yes, 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 yes. Please use me, please. We, I am here for you. I love you. So this is so beautiful that we're calling in the Holy Spirit right now. We're all going to say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ascending Masters. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you for every individual in the room that received this beautiful meditation and prayer. Namaste. Thank you so much. I felt the Holy Spirit. I felt the Holy Spirit. I had chills going through my body. I had tears in my eyes. I felt the Holy Spirit going through everybody here. Um, and I know that if anybody did feel something going through them, if you felt chills, if you felt something shift around you, it definitely was an energy or an angel or whatever you were feeling. Um, I was feeling the Holy Spirit. So you did a, a fabulous job, you guys, just amazing. And uh, we're gonna, just going to keep it going. So I just want to keep this going right now. How's everybody doing? I kind of left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So everyone, okay. Are you okay, Jonathan? Yeah, let's do some interaction. Jonathan, how are you? We can unmute you. Jonathan, hi. Oh, we're trying to unmute Jonathan. We may need some help. Thank you. Can you hear me okay? Uh huh. Thanks for calling on me. I'm most grateful to be here. Um, I have honestly, I have been under the weather, um, so cancel clear and. Um, I really appreciate this healing today and the chance to be here. Great. I'm glad that you're here. And uh, yeah, it's only just begun. Thank you for being here. Anybody else want to say anything before we start doing our readings and our healings about our meditation we just had? Anybody want to say anything? Raymond? Yeah. There we go. Oh, no. There you yeah. Go. Well, hi. I just want to say hi, but I I felt um I felt the energy coming in. I certainly felt uh I had a bit of anxiety at the beginning before we started the call, and now I feel totally calm. I almost felt like a nap, but when you said to call in the Holy Spirit, like I felt it through my body. Um and it was very calming. So thank you for that. It's just, I'm so pleased to have had that opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I thank you for sharing. I think it's important to share a couple of our shares because what's happening right now, I've noticed even in my work at the office recently, people are coming in and experiencing I'm getting ready to go back out too to do a lot of in-person events. I feel the Holy Spirit is here more than ever and wanting to show off, as you could say, like the work. And I'm just, I'm just a vessel for the Holy Spirit to do the work through me. Um, the, my body is only, I'm only a, a small person and the Holy Spirit is gigantic. And when it comes through me and as it can come through you, it's powerful. And when we're open to it coming through us, you feel different feelings, you know, sensations. And sometimes people say, I felt a chill go through me, or I feel these different feelings. And um, I can only explain 
what it feels like when, when it actually is doing healings on people and people can feel it going through them. So that's why I always try to see how it, what it feels like when people are having a meditation or what, what they're feeling. Does anybody else want to say anything before we move on? Also, when you have a uh, experience with the Holy Spirit and you are healed, um, it's important to confirm it over and over again. There's one thing when you do mediumship readings, and I'm not saying it's not good to have mediumship readings because I think they're great. It's great to find out what's wrong with you. It's great to get information from the other side, but to be healed by the Holy Spirit There's no word for it. There's no word for being in the presence of God. There's no word for being in the presence of the Holy Spirit. There's no word for it. I'm coming from a person that had two near-death experiences and was healed through the Holy Ghost. Now, I'm not afraid of death because we all have to die. There's a time to live and there's a time to die. I cherish being alive, but I have no fear of death because we all have to go there. And I love God. Um, I love my work as a medium because I like that I can help people find out what's wrong with them before it happens. But to experience a person um, life being extended through the Holy Spirit. So maybe you're living a little longer or, but God is really the king of knowing how long you've got or how little or what's happening here. So um, for me to witness these miraculous healings, um, it's just sensational. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. So it's very cool. Very cool. Does anybody have a question about the Holy Spirit? Or this class about the Virgin Mary. Barbara, we had a session yesterday. Do you have any question? No, I don't have a question. I just want to say thank you. I'm deeply grateful for our session and also very, very grateful to be here today uh, in this gathering, this class. But I, I don't have a question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> So some of those affirmations that um, I chose to do today, um, I feel that sometimes, and you could tell me yes or no, I feel like sometimes um, those are some of the things that, I don't know, you could say yes or they're not, um, we are often moved back and forth with. Is that true for some of you? Jenny in the chat says, yes, very true. Yeah, if you could help me with the chat, that'd be great. So when I do meditation, I like to do affirmations with my meditation because I feel the affirmations um, can, if you read my book, I do a lot of affirmations in my book, can confirm the negative to leave. And they confirm the positive with God and Holy Spirit. So how many people drink water throughout the day or sometimes forget? So that's why I put the water in there. Drink lots of water to cleanse my body and my spiritual mind. Because a lot of times we're going throughout the day, we're working, we're getting involved with projects, we're doing things and we forget water. I am safe in the universe and my life supports me. A lot of people have brought up with a lot of trauma, they often think the universe is against them. They believe that we're in a third dimension, which we are right now, but they don't feel supported by the fifth dimension. They're not in the fifth dimension yet all the way. So they're constantly thinking, well, the universe is not fully supporting me. 
So as we're meditating and we're taking the breath of life in, because we come in the world on our breath and we transcend on our breath. So I have that over and over again. I am safe in the universe and the life loves and supports me in the fifth dimension. So as we do the breath work, I like to bring in the affirmation. Um, I, I like to say these things like I attract healthy relationships that support me. So these are just things that um, I like to focus on. So say you are diagnosed with something that's in your body. So for instance, like maybe someone is diagnosed with a tumor and say you come to me and I dismiss it out of you and you are in a fifth dimensional state of consciousness and you are thinking to yourself, well, is that really going to stay gone? How can I know that that's going to stay away? Well, you're doubting it right there. The minute you say that, that can come back in. There's a way to rewire your brain to honor that healing with the Holy Spirit. Some people will say, oh, you did that. You made that leave. No, Kimberly didn't. I'm just, a, I'm a vessel for the energy that is using me, which is the omnipresent to release it out. But afterwards, your, your, your energy of your brain has to say it's gone. I'm in, I'm in another dimensional frequency. My heart space and energy is no longer in that lower frequency in the third dimension. In the back of my book, I have all these healing miracles that have happened. Those are real. So some people even doubt Jesus Christ. They doubt Holy Spirit. They believe in the Holy Spirit, but they're like, well, I haven't really witnessed the Holy Spirit. I haven't really saw the Holy Spirit. It's not tangible like the video game or the computer. The Holy Spirit is real. The Holy Spirit is real. And not only is it so real, it's mind blowing how real because um, just like somebody that, that sees paranormal things going on, um, the omnipresent is so magical and amazing that in the next few years, you'll even see more of the Holy Spirit's actions. <laughs> so um, it's very interesting um, how real the Holy Spirit really is, as you guys already know. Um, but um, the Holy Spirit will do what it wants, when it wants, and how it wants. And I didn't put even half the miracles in the book that I wanted to put. Um, but I'm sure if we have another class, I'm sure many of you have Holy Spirit miracle stories that you could tell. I probably could write 10 books on Holy Spirit miracles. And I've only been doing this work since 2015. So count those numbers. Not very long. Where I've had people walk in my office and say, the doctor told me I'm only living 24 hours or I only gonna live two weeks or um, uh, I'm never gonna get pregnant. I'm 55 years old um, or I'm this or I'm that or crying or saying this and that or I have a bullet in the back of my spinal cord. I'm never gonna walk. And so these are things that I hear. I get the terminally ill coming and all kinds of different things going on. And what do you think happens? So yeah, this is like. Miracles happen through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> is in control just like when you see social media just like when you see the war just like you see all the things going on they're they're coming in right now and they're telling me it doesn't matter the holy spirit is in control 
just like when you get married, just like when you uh, go to co whatever college you've gone to, whatever apartment you're moving in, whatever house you're going to, whatever you're doing in your life, who do you think is really in charge? I hate to tell you this, but <laughs> now you have free will and you could go another way, but all in all, if you let go and let it flow and you just turn it over, that's why meditation is so important. Meditation is awesome because you're connecting to your breath and you're letting the energy of the Holy One come in to you. It's not a religion. It's the omnipresent coming into your body and guiding you. So how many people here um, meditate every day or try to or started, started to? Okay, great. How many people have like a little journal? Okay, great. How many people kind of know um, that you've made some kind of contact with the Holy Spirit, with, with God throughout your life, or now you're starting to get even stronger. You feel it. Your intuition is opening more, like recently even. Cool. How many do it like right before you're waking up in the morning or going to, or going to bed at night? Or when, what is it morning, night, or in the afternoon? Or are you walking or swimming or... Raise your hand if it's like right before you're waking up. Are you in sleep mode? <laughs> well, yeah. Both. Anytime. Right. Mine is in the in the morning before I actually get out of bed. I'm like in still in theta state and, and I'll do my meditations um, okay. and affirmations. And then at night as well. So I do both. Okay, and then Raymond, are are you connecting with the Holy Spirit right before you wake up in the morning? Uh, well, I just feel like I'm in that hypnagogic state, I guess. So, like I'm, I feel like I can go right into the meditation very easily. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know if I am per se connecting to the Holy Spirit. I never thought of it that way, but perhaps I do feel connected. Um, I don't know. So everybody try that. Try to see before you wake up in the morning if you're getting some kind of connection, mm -hmm. like in, right before you get up. Some people just jump out of bed and grab their phone and start looking on their computer. What about you, Terry? I love the morning time. It's like my, oh, wait, it's wrong, Terry. Sorry. That's the right Terry. Oh, oh okay. Um, I love the morning time, especially right before this, the, that, that in between dark and light. Um, I might jump out of bed, but it's only to get my coffee and come back to bed and meditate. And I really, I put frequencies on. I'm very, um, happy and grateful each morning so i try to carry that throughout the day the best okay. i can <laughs> yeah i was just curious because they've been i've been kind of doing a study with people and seeing if people just get up in the morning and jump out and start grabbing their cell phone and start with the work or whatever they're doing with the kids or they take a few minutes and wake up and say they're grateful Thank God they're awake. Thank God they're alive. And sometimes people will have like the third eye open right in the morning, or they'll come in with a light around their eyes and they do that connection. So for me, ever since I got out of the hospital, they have made contact with me right in the morning. I mean, for me, it's pretty intense. Like I get the blinding light. <laughs> you guys are like, what the hell? <laughs> they come right at me in the morning. <laughs> And so some of my clients also get that in the morning. They'll get it like right in the third eye and they'll get the messages in the morning. So I can't jump into things right away. I have to like do that energy and the messages in the morning and then I write out stuff. So it's interesting if you could try to do your meditation in the morning before you get into this 
the, the 3D kind of world and see how it feels for you. See how it feels for you. See if you see a shift. See if you get a shift in your life. Try it out. Okay, let's do some, <laughs> let's do some, um, some readings and healings because I know there's some people that need some real good healing. And then if any of you um, today, I want to bring more people up that feel like they want to do some healing service, service too. Okay, so take a deep breath and let's see who we want to do um, a reading on a couple of readings and we want to do more healings today because we have some people that really need healing. Okay. So, and we want to put our prayer request. In. Okay. But I felt like the guides want to talk about that right now, especially because the next few months are going to be intense. And the guides are telling me we want to do some quiet time in the morning with the Holy spirit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Raise your hand if you've never had a reading with Kimberly. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, let's do one with Kat. Okay, so let's do one with Kat. Kat Moulton is here. We do one with Kat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let's do one with Kat. Okay, so we're going to pin a uh, Q. Sweet Q is going to pin me and Kat. All right, Kat, why don't you tell everybody where you're from? I'm from outside of Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, great. So how we do the reading is it's a mini reading. And I, you know how I've done them, right? You've been in my class with me. I've, I've been in the clubhouse room a couple of times when you've done them. So. Yeah. So... Yeah, so um, we're going to do a reading on you. This is going to be like a little mini reading. And then what we're going to do is they're different here in the Mother Mary groups because I don't do that. I'm not going to do the healing. What we're going to do is um, you'll go back out and then you'll come back in and we do like a group healing, which is super fun. Mm -hmm. If that's what we do. <laughs> so we're going to do, uh, I'll do a mini reading on you right now. And you can just keep these thoughts in your head what the guides are saying. So take a couple deep breaths. Just like uh, how we did with the meditation, sort of like, <sighs> like that. They're kind of, the guides are kind of going around um, telling Kimberly something uh, you may know, you may not know, you, you might know. They're just talking about something around the back of, like, I don't know, they're telling me that, did you ever have an injury, like in the back of your neck or something? They're uh -huh. talking your neck and also they're talking about i'll just go through some things first um they're talking about something with your hearing and your neck like something could have caused something with your head and your neck uh, or is going to cause but they're going around your neck and your ear on the left side and they're also talking about a shoulder and they're also talking about uh something annoying them with your lower back and 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 neck like i don't know they're just saying something about that does that make any sense I just, yeah <laughs> my lower back for sure i had an old injury um that yeah so they're coming in and they're saying uh communicate to her that we know something about the low back and they don't like it they're like really annoying with me about it and they're saying something about they're concerned I mean, I don't want to make you concerned, but they're saying something about the back of your neck and up to your head. So I don't know if you're having a headache or something going on with your, your ear. Uh, no, but the other day, the back of my neck was really, really bothering me in a way that it hadn't before. Yeah. yeah. And they're telling me, you know, make sure you don't do any chiropractic adjustments. Okay. Uh, they're saying, please don't do that. That that could, if you did one, that could bother the inner ear. Mm -hmm. That could hurt your inner ear, they're telling me. Okay. Uh, they're, they're telling me something about, please warn her, I'm getting chills, about an inner ear issue with your neck. Okay. Uh, they're just saying to be careful about that. Uh, also, they're telling me uh, about some stomach issue. 
that you may have had a while ago or did have? Um, maybe. I, I've been having digestive issues again the last few weeks. Um, yeah. Basically. So how I do my reading is they just give me messages. I hear them talk. So uh, yeah, go ahead. But they were, I was pretty gassy, but like in a, there's a lot of rumbling and I think it's more, I'm having trouble digesting some emotional and personal stuff. They are telling me that there's a, you know, this is the health stuff. The emotional stuff is going on also. Um, but this is your health. They're talking about it for the moment, but emotional is connected to health. Obviously um, they are saying stuff about, you want to ask a question and they can come in and answer it real quick. Um, can I ask a question about the neck? Can you, can the pain in the neck be from like an old experience that's coming back up emotionally, I guess, more than just physical? Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Um, is there anything, well, to avoid the, the chiropractor, any, anything to do? Or just oh yeah, there's a lot of things you could do to heal up your neck. Yeah. I mean, emotionally, or are you talking about physically, like to go to use modality wise? Um, I was thinking more emotionally. And this is a weird can it be from not just this lifetime? The neck or I know there's something from this lifetime, but there's a lot of stuff that's been coming up in the last. Yeah, I mean, you could take a session with me that, you know, this could be like a 60 minute session to talk about uh, another lifetime. I'm getting, it could be something from another lifetime, but I am getting it is from this lifetime. It's from someone that was actually someone you may have been with uh, emotionally attached to in this lifetime. Yeah. yeah. That you had gone out with or dated, or even, I don't know if you were married, um, but they're telling me it's more significantly somebody like a soulmate. Okay. Is that somebody that you would know? From the original injury? Um, no, no one not, the original, not the original injury, no. Um, yeah, there's a soulmate situation, but not someone I'm involved with, let's just say. Yeah. So, I mean, you can always do a session with me because we're just doing a few minutes right now. Uh, but they are telling me your neck, your gut, your low back, those are the main areas that the guides want you to work on. And it's past relationship stuff that needs to karmically be broken. That is something that I specialize in. I have 75 minute sessions going on right now with that. And I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Um, but those are things that do need to be addressed. And I would, they're telling me, please don't do chiropractic. That's not going to help this. Yeah. Yeah. They're just saying that's not the way to do it. I am getting, it is a soulmate connection that is related to the back of the neck. They are telling me that too, but there are things like cold laser, there's silica gels that can help the back of the neck too. Um, they are saying the gut issue that you do need to address the gut also, but we're going to have you come back in. We're going to have you come back in the healing circle. Okay. okay. So thank you so much, Kat, but we need to do a couple more. Okay. So we're going to move into, thank you so much. We'll bring her back into the healing circle with the Mother Mary. Okay, so we are going to move into doing some more readings right now. Okay, so, and make sure that we're going to do a reading. We're going to have a, in the healing circle, uh, Kate. Can you write that down, Q? Got it. Yeah, thank you so much. And you've got Kat. Kat and Kate <laughs> are going to come back in. Okay. So let's go into the room. KK, where's Ross? Because Ross is with Kate. Okay, great. Hi. Okay. So, and hi, Fatima. Hey, Nancy. Hi, Barbara. Love you guys. Okay. So has Janelle ever had a reading? Janelle, do you want to have a reading? Okay, I don't know why the time goes by so fast. You guys don't Hi. forget, we have a party coming up. Mother Mary, December 17th. We have a party. Okay. Hi, Janelle. How are you? Hi. Excellent. 
happy to be here. I am too. I love my Mother Mary class. Okay, so um, Janelle, let's talk about this. How'd you find out about me? Um, my friend Kim, <laughs> who's here also. <laughs> I'm making me laugh. My spirit guides are laughing. Okay, I'm laughing because where did you guys find out about me at? Uh, she found out about you from another friend of hers. Oh. Online? Uh, let's see. She told me earlier. Let me look at that name. It's okay. Cat, I just, you know, Cat, because... Cat Divine? She knows oh. Cat. So. Okay, so Cat Divine is going to be at the Christmas party December 17th. We're giving Santa giveaways, lots of presents, and stuff away. Okay. Um, okay, so they're already giving me a number. I'm going to write it down for you. Uh, they're telling me the number 10 around you. The number 10. So remember that. Uh, the guides are coming in. I see lots of angels around your head. Uh, there's lots of angels are swarming around the top of your head. Um, they're telling me 10. They're saying something happened. <laughs> something 10 years ago uh keep going on and on about 10 10 10 uh yes uh 10 either yeah either 10 years or 10 months but something about 10 over and over again they're also going around your eyes and in the back of your head over and over again what? i would understand i would understand 10 months ago yes 10 with 10 yeah what, ha what happened uh that's when i found out about my mom having brain cancer yeah brain head yeah and mm -hmm. then they're telling me did she cross yes yep she's here she's mm -hmm. saying kimberly okay now she's coming in and she's like being nosy she's saying kimberly tell her uh 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 Tell her I don't like what's going on in your lower gut, your lower uh, uterus, or something is happening with you physically. She's telling me uh, something happening in your lower lower uh, uh, stomach or uterus area or hormones. She keeps telling me something. Did you have something going on in your lower uh, gut area? Not really. She's telling me something about you not taking care of yourself. <laughs> and she keeps going into your like lower, maybe it's your, uh, she keeps. Were you taking care of her? I was not. Who was taking care of her? Uh, a younger sister. She's telling me something about your kidneys or something around your bladder and your uterus area over and over again. So what happened to you there? Oh, I would understand bladder. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't I mean, have to talk about it right now if you don't want to hear. <laughs> but she is saying to me, you need to take care of that. You can do a private session with me if you'd like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but she's coming in really strong. Um, she also is telling me she made it to God. Uh, was she religious? Because she really loves you being here. Yeah, she was. She's, she She's trying to make me cry. She says, I love the fifth dimension. I love being with Jesus. Uh, I love the Holy Spirit. I love saying the Hail Marys and the Our Fathers. Does that make sense? Yeah. With her, yes. Yeah. She's saying, um, okay, this is really making me sad. Um, even though you weren't there with her when she passed, she says that you were with her in many other lives, that you guys uh, had a an interesting relationship. Did she often sometimes act like you acted like her mother? Uh, you guys were kind of playing different roles or something uh no but i would understand why she said we were together many lives because she always often said that and i was with her when she passed oh that's at what the she moment was of passing. yeah she was yeah. telling me that. 
but why were you, why is she saying that to me that you guys were with each other for many, many lives? Um, I'll tell you what she's telling talking. me. Yeah. Yeah. She's telling because me she would, that. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, she just often mentioned that about previous lives together um, before she passed. Yeah. And she's telling me that you could have possibly been soulmates, even though that it's not like a husband wife, but you guys could have been that together. She's coming in very clear for me, for you. And she says, please keep praying, you know, keep her picture with you. And, and this connection is really going on strong. And I really do see her around you like all the time. She is a guardian angel for you. So this is really important that you keep her. And please, she's saying, drink more water. Um, keep hydrated and drink good water, like mineral water, like spring water. There's something about you keeping hydrated. And once again, we'll move on and put you back in the circle, but there's something that's going on with your kidneys and your bladder. Okay. Thank you for letting me do the reading. Thank you. I appreciate it. God bless you. Okay. We're going to do one more reading or we could do a few more readings actually. Okay. Okay, so we remember that. Uh, I like Mountain Valley spring water. I don't know if you guys, you guys know that. I love that water. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, Ryan's laughing. <laughs> okay. Uh, raise your hand if you feel like having a reading. Okay. One person, let's do Anne Marie. Anne Marie. And then once we get a few people, we'll do a healing. We'll do the healing. I think we have like about three people right now for the healing. <clears throat> Hi, Kimberly. Hi, let me, for some reason, I, the spirit guides are playing games with me. I got, uh -huh. I got popped out again. <laughs> okay. Hi, how do I know you, Anne Marie? She's scheduled to have a session with um, you. Yes. How do I know you, Anne Marie? I'm scheduled to have a session with you. Maybe that's all. I have. Oh, when is your session with me? The 22nd of this month. Oh, wow. We're already having one. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. So let's do a, a mini reading because you're going to have one already, but that'll be helpful because when we jump on, you already know. We can get to business. Okay, so is this your daughter? No, my partner. Oh, wonderful. And her name is, your name is Kendall? Yes. Oh, nice to meet you, Kendall. Nice to meet you. Okay, so the guys are telling me, um, I don't know, some little things here and there. Take a couple deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Ah, let's all say we're in the fifth dimension. With a burning yeah, hair. You know, they're going to just right, you know, right now they're going just to a main area on you. They're going into like your lower uh, uterus. Does that make sense? They keep going down into the lower part of your <clears throat> Going there like, um, I don't know. They just like want to go to that lower uterus area, lower gut area, over to the left side. I can't see you though. You're kind of cut off. Is that better? I'll come in more. Yeah, you're you're like. Does that make sense or no? Um, not not so much for the uterus, I don't think. They're also going around your thyroid. Uh, they're going, they're telling me thyroid, eye issues, uterus. You've never had any uterus issues? Um, I had a, 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 a something they were watching a few years ago, uh, a, a, a benign, I think it was um, a, like a benign tumor. Yeah, yeah, they're talking about something happening there. Um, so what, what is it exactly you have wrong with you? I have um, stage four metastatic cancer that has uh, gone to my lung and to my bones from yeah, the breast. Talking, the breast was the yeah. original. They're so. talking about around your thyroid, um, the breast. You know, I don't get a strong hit on the breast. Was the breast on the right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Saying right. 
right breast, but they sang something about, and I, you know, I always find the root cause of things they go to right away. They're telling me it did come in the uterus. It did come into that area. That's where they're going right at. They're going okay. right in there. And they're talking, you know, and right away when you came on the minute you, I heard a voice saying hormonal imbalance when I first saw you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not, I'm pretty, pretty, you know, when we have our session, I'm sure I'll find out that maybe it came from that environmentally, hormonally imbalanced. Is where it's maybe- hormone. It's, it's, you're ex- you're absolutely right. It's hormone fed my tumors, my cancer. Yeah. They're, they're, they're communicating to me, Kimberly, that's what happened and go in and help her immediately. So we Thanks. know now what we're going to do when I see you. Yeah. So basically when you have our session, make sure you've got everything ready for me. Um, you. you know, what you're doing, what you're taking, what you're eating. That's why I started my 75 minute session. Cause my 60 minute session, I talk so much. <laughs> and then by the time we're done talking and getting all the information, I want to do the healing. And then I run out of time. Okay. So my 75 minute sessions. Yeah. But we're going to do a 60 minute, which now we have a head start. So cool. Okay. I'm so glad Thank I picked you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to rock it. We're going to rock it. Okay. Love you. I'll see you soon. All right. So let's do another reading. <laughs> okay. I will remember. And also whatever you're taking, you know, any kind of medicines the doctors should put you on, anything like that, just have everything lined up for me. So then I can come in and do my job and the healing. Okay, great. Okay, Q, how many people do we have right now in our healing group? We've got Kat, uh, Kate, I think that you said is through Ross's camera, yes. uh, Janelle and Anne Marie's. Okay, we can do one more because we want to do really good healing. And I know we all will. And we'll do one more reading. Uh, Let's see. Uh, And then we'll do the healing. And then we have all our prayer requests and healing. This has been a great group. Um, Let's see. Who has not had a reading with me? And we really want to give it to somebody that has not had a reading recently. Uh, that is in, in in real need right now. Okay, let's let's do Ellen. Ellen, you have, or Eileen, you have not had a reading. Okay, okay, let's do Eileen right now. And remember, everybody can receive a healing through the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Eileen, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Costa Rica. I had a feeling. Okay, great. How did you find out about us from Costa Rica? Um, I heard about you in in Jeff Mara podcast uh, like three months ago. So I've been coming to the Mother Mary Matrix. (laughs) You know, I love that Jeff Mara podcast. (laughs) It's it's very interesting. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, he invited me to come um, on like some Friday night and do readings. So I might do that one time. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. (laughs) Okay, let's see what the guides want to tell you. Okay, so take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. We can only see you from here up, though. That's the only thing. Uh, Let's try to back you up a little bit. There you go. And you're in the dark. You want me to turn on the lights? I think that would be nice because we're going to do a healing on you, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, turn the light on. Oh, great. Yeah, you're sitting in the dark. Yeah. Um, okay, you have somebody also that's from the other side trying to contact you. Did you know that? Um, I'm, I'm finding it right, right now. <laughs> okay, so let's take a deep breath. Put your hands up real high to the Holy Spirit. Do you like living where you are? Yes. Um, What do you mean, the house or the country? The country. Uh, More or less. Yeah, I was getting that. 
Take a deep breath. <sighs> um, you know, I get a little bit of a negative energy around your lung. Take a deep breath again. Breathe, inhale, exhale. When I do that with people, it's I'm checking your lungs for COVID. I'm checking to see if you've had COVID. I'm checking to see how strong your lungs are and your heart when I ask people to breathe. Yeah. Like that. I'm doing the breathing test. <laughs> I'm also getting like a little bit of something about your blood sugar. I don't know if that makes sense. They're telling me about blood sugar. I hear them say blood sugar. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm getting a hit, a negative hit on your pancreas uh, and blood sugar. Um, I didn't get a negative link on your liver. Uh, I, I'm very meticulous. They are, not me, the guides, scientist guides. Uh, they are your mouth, your teeth. You're not a lot of people today with teeth. They, did, they didn't go after teeth today so much. I'm not getting a negative about the teeth, uh, but I didn't get an okay on your pancreas and I didn't, they're talking about blood sugar levels. Um, COVID wise, did you have COVID? I didn't have COVID. I didn't. Not that I know. Yeah, no, I don't get a negative blink about COVID, but when you took your deep breath, like when you went, ah, do that again. Don't be afraid to breathe. People are always afraid to breathe. They go, ah, do it again. I get a little bit of a negative blink right under your left breast, under your, your stomach the stomach under the left breast, not your lung, the stomach. I get a negative blink on the stomach, your rib. Okay. That's a gallbladder. It's a gallbladder stomach area, like in that area, spleen, in that area there. And when I say that to the guides, you know, um, I lean spleen, um, you know, gallbladder in that area there. Are you doing a lot of herbs? No, no, not, not at all. Vitamins. Uh, what kind of water are you drinking? Uh, water from the faucet. Horrible. Yeah. yeah. There's something not. Pro so they're telling me her body is not processing either um, herbs or vitamins or water. Something is not working in your organs properly. And it's not going through your spleen and your and your and your and your and your gallbladder correctly for us. And that's probably the tap water. Mm -hmm. Also, they're talking about uh, some sort of knee. Did you ever injure your knee? No. You're talking about a knee or an ankle or something in your lower extremities, something, something in the lower part of your body. Um, and they're also talking about a shoulder, I don't know, joints, something with the joints. I don't know, like that. I had a pain here, but it's gone already. Anything else you want to tell the guides uh, we can connect to about you? That yeah, you want who's, who's trying to connect from the other side? Is it male or, or female? Before, before we go to that, you raised your hand about not feeling good. What was it? Um, you wanted a reading. What was it about? Yeah, yeah I just wanted a reading. Yeah. Oh, you didn't, you didn't have a, because I said you, if anybody wants a reading, because if they're sick. Oh, okay. So the reason they're going on the left side with your knee and your ankle, they are telling me why they're telling me there's poor circulation going on. They're going negative, negative on the left side of you, which goes up to the, once again, the gallbladder, the spleen. Uh, so that one thing before we leave, please change your water. Don't drink tap water. Okay. Okay. And you can do a private session with me later. We're running out of time right now. We're actually really, really out of time. So we're going to do the healing circle now. Okay. So All let's right. bring everybody Thank you. the healing circle. Thank okay. you so Thank much. Because we still have to do our prayer request. Okay. So let's bring everybody in our prayer, prayer, uh, prayer circle. And I'm just going to step out for one second and get some water while we do our whole little circle. We're going to get everybody together. And then we're going to do our prayer circle. All right, we're going to see everybody that's in our prayer circle.
There's Kate. Hi, Ross. How are you guys doing? Hi. Hi, Kate. So let's see if everybody's in the circle. Are we missing anyone? We've got Kat and Anne and Eileen and Kate. I think we've got everybody in the circle. How are you doing, Ross? Okay, all right. So, um, and Janelle, yes. So we're gonna do a group healing on everybody at once. And we're gonna call in some people to come into the healing. Who wants to come into the group also to do the healings? Who feels powerful to come into the center of the group? And I think we're going to have Barbara come in too. Let's bring Barbara into the group for the healing. Um, Q, can you bring Barbara in? Good. We're going to do a healing on Barbara. So I think I see um, a few people volunteering as well. Okay. So let's bring a few people in to be healers. So uh, um, I saw those hands disappear. So if you were volunteering, you might make yourself known again. Let's see. Um, if you want to be a healer to come in, we're going to say a lot of Hail Marys. Bill, um, Raymond, and Dennis are volunteering. Okay, great. Let's do that. I see Roberta's here. Hi, and Roberta. Karen. Okay, let's do just those, those few. Okay. So for Kat, we are going to concentrate on her emotional healing and her neck. And for Kate, we're doing, uh, who's in the hospital bed, we're doing everybody, let's concentrate on Kate. Uh, Ross, we want to concentrate on her whole body. Healing her whole body. Healing her. And... Um, on Anne Marie, we're concentrating on your whole body healing. Eileen, we're concentrating on your whole body. Janelle, everything, whole body. Yeah. And Barbara, do you want to say what you want healed? Your breast healing. Okay. And Karen and Bill have volunteered in the center group to be healers. Anybody else want to come in to be center healers or the whole room we're doing healing? It's only letting us do nine people total right now. That's fine. All right. So let's go for it. Sorry, everybody. That's fine. Everybody can do it. Put our hands in a triangle. Uh, we're all co-healers. Uh, we can all start saying Hail Marys. Um, these ladies need healing. We all need healing. Everything bouncing into the center bounces back at us. Please send healing to Kate, Kat, Chanel, Eileen, Anne-Marie, and Barbara in the center room right now. And then we'll also do healing throughout the whole room. But right now, let's concentrate on them right now. Okay, so here we go. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And please, who's ever in the middle room, just really to keep hearing, I am receiving, I am receiving, I'm worthy of receiving this healing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, holy mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Father, heavenly physician of our body and our soul, please heal these women. Please Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, please, Lord, heal them of their illness and sickness and help recover them fully. Give them strength and shield them from any darkness energy. Heal them from their head to toes. Bless them and give them the fighting chances that they deserve through the Holy Spirit. Release them of any pain and suffering in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen rubbing our hands together and taking your hands, all the ladies and putting and friends and family and putting it on the area of the body that you want them healed. 
Keep centering your attention to the body of the person that you're doing the healing and taking a deep breath. We believe by the power of the Holy Spirit that God, Holy Spirit, can heal them. We accept the Holy Spirit, a pure love and light with spiritual belief that the body of the Holy Spirit, the temple of God, can heal them now. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Um, let's all do some oming. Um, 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 focusing on Kate right now. Um, putting our hands on Kate. Um, 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 we are love, we are light, we are holy, Hashem, 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 blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hashem, 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 focusing on the energy of Kate's body, her lungs, her pancreas, her lower abdominal wall of her stomach and putting her hands on the crown of her top of her head. Holy, holy Mother Mary of God, praying for the recovery of Kate. In the name of Jesus Christ and all the saints and angels. Amen. We represent the energy of the Holy Spirit in this beautiful group. Blessing Kate. In the name of Jesus and all the saints and angels, rubbing your hands, Ross, and putting it over on her heart, your hands. Holy, holy Mother Mary of God. Wipe away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask to send forth the healing power to Kate. Please don't let any pain be in her body anymore. We're begging you to help her. Please mend all that is broken and heal her. Please help her in this sickness. Release any infection. Please help heal her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's all say amen. Amen. Father, Jesus, thank you for healing Kate. Thank you for making her feel good and rest. Thank you for sending her a miracle. Thank you for being with her in the name of Jesus. Thank you for having compassion and care. Thank you for sending the Mother Mary and all the ascending masters to Kate's body. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We know that Jesus is healer, Jesus is healing. And Jesus' heart is open to Kate. Moving now into the rest of the group, into Kat and Janelle. Let's all say the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us now and forever. Amen. And putting your hands over your heart and swallowing. Let's all say the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
releasing all negative energy away from our body now in the name of Jesus Christ and all the saints and angels. Rubbing your hands together in the power of the Holy Spirit. Go around any energy in your body and release it off of you now. Say out of my body, out of the universe, now, and just wipe it off you. Ha! Go back into your heart. Should be no negative energy on you. You're in the fifth dimension. As it was the beginning, as now and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. Rubbing your hands together again, putting your hands up. I am and I shall receive a miracle today. Go back down into your body. Go to Anne Marie. Going into Anne Marie. Anne Marie, do you accept the Holy Spirit? Anne Marie, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. We all should say it because all of us that say it shall be healed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Go to the area you would like to be healed, Anne-Marie. Take a deep breath. I am love. I am light. I am peace. I am joy. And I am healed to the Holy Spirit. Rub your hand in a circle in the area that you have the dis-ease in the third dimension and take a deep breath. Breathe in. Put your hands up. Feel the chills, and that is the Holy Spirit healing you. Take a deep breath. Breathe it out. Clap your hands. Throw it out of you. Ha! Go back into your heart. Bow your head. Holy, holy, Mother Mary of God, the Queen, the Virgin, I am healed. Rub your hands together and go down into your lower abdominal wall. Good. Everybody's sending Anne-Marie healing. Very good, everybody. Keep going. As we know, all healing has an emotional attachment. We all should say, we love, we love, we love, we love the Holy Spirit. Moving into Eileen. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Doing healing for Eileen, sending her love and light. Going back into understanding that Eileen has some emotional issues happening right now in her life of where she needs healing in her root chakra, where she feels an attachment to grounding. So let's do that. Let Bill take over to sending her healing right now. We're going to have Bill and Karen do a powerful healing for Eileen and Barbara. And everybody in the room boosting their healing energy and Fatima. We are all examples of light beings, star seeds and crystals here in this room. And through the energy, we know that we can raise our own bodies to light workers and become ascension healers. So we are love. We are light. We are holy, holy, Hashem, Hashem. Barbara, I'm sending you healing. Put your hand over underneath your armpit again and over to the breast. Ah, receiving the Holy Spirit through your body. Good. We graciously love you, Jesus. We graciously know that you are a healer. As we perform the laying on hands through the co-healing of this group, we know that all of us can be healed. Father God Almighty, thank you for continuing to heal us. Thank you for making us stronger. Thank you for strengthening our hearts and our connections to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Eileen, for receiving the healing right now. Keep receiving, keep receiving, Barbara. Keep receiving, Janelle. And Kate is receiving, the guy just saying, and Kat is receiving. And Anne Marie is receiving. Rubbing our hands together again. Putting up to the Holy Spirit. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy spirit. Thank you for every person in the room that is giving the healing to our brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. Taking our hands back down and placing it on our heart. Thank you. Thank you. The Virgin Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Heavenly father. Thank you. Queen of our Virgin Mary queen. Staying in this energy right now, please keep staying in this beautiful, beautiful, loving energy. Our beautiful energy. Keep breathing, inhale and exhaling. Keep sending the energy to our, our, our sisters in the healing circle, um, Kate and Kat. We're going to say one more last prayer. Hell, Holy Queen, if you know it, say it with me, please. Hell, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope. To thee do we cry, poor, banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. <sighs> and after this, our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, oh, loving. Oh, sweet Virgin Mary. Thank you. Gratefully, thank you. Amen. Job, everybody. Good job. Let's all just say we are healed. <laughs> so now is the time. Thank you, Satnam, to put our prayer request in the chat. And um, this is our fav one of our favorite times to honor God, to honor our friends and our family. Um, thank you so much for our inner circle. We love you. I love all of you. And um, we're going to put our, our prayer chat in and Hugh's going to announce what we're going to do now. So thank you. Yes, please try to limit yourself to one prayer request per person. So are we going to have time for everybody? Great. I Christine, prayer request for Christine Sweeney. Dr. Krista, prayers for daughter Joanna for restless leg syndrome. Janelle, thank you for everyone. Jonathan Bakken, for Jonathan healing and abundance. Anne Marie and Kendra. For daughter Carter, who's turning 18 and having a hard time with anxiety and depression. Brian C. Prayer request for myself, financial abundance, prosperity, and money miracles. Michelle. Healing for my father, Robert P.'s back. Amen. D. Musa. Andrea and Marco Bulio family and friends. Dennis, prayer for 96 years. Carmen, pray for client Andrea, who
who's struggling with self-love and self-respect. Philmomia, prayers for pain in my hands. Thank you and amen. Christelle Biga, healing for neck and financial abundance. Barbara, prayers for peace, harmony on earth. Mika, Kirsten for health. Fatima, help and openly receive the funds that I need to afford the special dentist for my procedures. Thank you, Holy Spirit, and thank you, I love you. Dennis, for mother who's turning 96. Nancy, prayers for Skylar for his continued recovery. Francine, prayer requests for healing allergic reaction affecting eyes. Joyce and Austin, for the Lasco and Paluski families. Barbara, for myself, Barbara, and soulmate to bond and heal together. Tanya, for me, free left breast omoplate heart, for dog Max, heart brother, her wife and parents, sisters, grandfather, and parents. Kat, prayers for son Zachary for emotional and mental healing. Bill, healing crests for me, my soulmate, who has not come together, but seems impossible to her. Jenny, harmony in our finances, blessings, and miracles. Tari, prayers for kids and peace of mind. Tanya for finance miracles. Raymond to welcome and receive all the support I need to continue on my inward journey in unconditional love and self-love. Margaret for Mary having panic attacks. Ross, thank you for healing all in this healing circle who needs it now. And finally, D. Musso for Ross Bless. So I'm going to say one prayer for our whole group. Um, that was beautiful. Those are beautiful prayer requests for everybody. This is out of my book, The Awakening of Fifth Dimension. Um, all of the prayer requests that came in, um, we're going to put them all together for us. It's all just bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Jesus, angels and prophets, we truly know and show so much gratitude to you, God. Um, we are your humble servants. We ask that you hear our prayer. We thank you with all our hearts and love. We give so much gratitude daily to you. We thank you. Our hearts are full of a thankful heart. We know with giving without wanting anything return brings our lives to the fullest with a universal effect of ascension. We live in trust. We live in the present moment of being at peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. We are in gratitude. Amen. I also want to say that I hear all your prayers and I'm going to keep praying for you daily. And um, I love you all. So thank you so much for being with me today. And I hope I get to see you for the holidays. And um, you guys are just so beautiful. So God bless all of you today. And mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> stay, stay for a couple more minutes. We're going to. We're going to show you some some slides right now. Some things coming up. So I hope you. Have a letter to read. I hope you. Oh yeah, my sister has a little note to read. I hope you enjoyed today's class and got something from the Holy Spirit. My sister's going to read a little note. Thank you. 
Hi, everybody. Great class as usual. Okay, I'm going to read a special message. The Healing Trilogy team is so grateful for the support of our followers and the many lives Kimberly has touched through her ministry. Do you know we offer many donation based, based events as of today? Such, so, sorry, such as our Mother Mary monthly, like today's class, donation based. Please make sure to sign up on our email list if you haven't and share our events with your friends and family. The Healing Trilogy greatly appreciates your kind financial support to continue to serve the many who come to receive healing and learn to bring forth their own healing testimonials through the Holy Spirit. We deeply appreciate everyone who has been donating to us. This makes our online webinars happen. We know our fifth dimensional frequency and love is moving us forward and higher. And we are so happy and grateful you have joined our family. God bless you. See you next time. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you for attending today's monthly Mother Mary Matrix. Did you experience any love, moments, peace, miracles? We'd love to know in the chat. Please let us know how today's experience with us. The feedback means everything and it lets us know that we're doing a good job and it gives us warm, fuzzy feelings as well. So if you have any of those to share, we would deeply appreciate it. And of course, if you haven't already seen Kimberly has a new book out, Awakening to Fifth Dimension, available at Amazon, Amazon UK, Audible, as well as anywhere books or stores are sold. And if you do appreciate it, we would love to get your review in order to help reach more people with her book. Today's class was put together by The Healing Trilogy, a nonprofit, non-denominational ministry that accepts people of all race, religion, and spiritual beliefs, all under, under the idea that we can all be healed and have peace on earth. Supporting the Hillagery supports classes, healings, and community. Today's class was put together by the Angel Club. You can also join the Angel Club at thehealingtrilogy.com, which gives you access to the monthly healing events, live Zoom classes, as well as the very large videos on demand library of almost every class we've ever done ever before. In November, Thursday the 17th, will be the next mediumship readings with the Divine Spirit. Kimberly's guides will select multiple attendees to receive medical mediumship readings of all conditions, physical and emotional. Kimberly will be delivering messages from your loved ones who have crossed over. And on Saturday 26 will be the special Angel Club, Healthy Nutritional Practices. This is going to be going over Chapter 8 of Kimberly's new book, Awakening the Fifth Dimension. You'll want to bring a copy of your book as well as your supplements, Well, she'll be doing a analysis of your supplements to make sure they're the right fit for you during this class. On December 3rd, we'll be in person in the Los Angeles set at the Mystic Journey Bookstore. You'll have to purchase books, uh, tickets online at the Mystic Journey Bookstore in Santa Monica. Kimberly there will be sharing her expertise, experience, and knowledge as she explains the fifth dimension, the contents of her new book, as well as doing in-person mediumship readings, healings, and selling autographed copies of her new book. And that will be in Santa Monica in the Los Angeles area. Also in this Los Angeles area is at the Gateway. On December 10th, she'll be doing an in-person class. Audience members will receive medical mediumship readings along with messages from loved ones who've crossed over, as well as receive healings from the divine Christ light. And Saturday, December 17th, is the next monthly Mother Mary Matrix We Are Light holiday party. Kimberly's annual holiday party is back for another year. Celebrate the holidays with Kimberly, as well as the Healing Trilogy family in this fun-filled event. We've had special guests Kat Devine and Joby Summer, founder of Toxic Free Happiness, and together we'll celebrate the inner light that shines through the Holy Spirit, especially during the winter solstice. We'll have holiday games, festivities, giveaways, and so much more. If you're ready for that next level, perhaps a Zoom session privately is set for you. She'll be able to go more in detail about your nutrition, your diet, 
your life, your career. She's able to help adults, children, and animals as well. Or if you feel called to that next level, there is the new mentorship program where Kimberly designs a program designed for whether you want to become a spiritual healer, you're trying to take the new next step. This next level coaching perhaps is the next level for you to bring you to the fifth dimension. So thank you very much, everybody, for attending today's monthly Mother Mary Matrix, hosted by Kimberly Mary. Thank you, Q. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kelly. And many, many blessings, everybody. See you soon. Bye, everybody. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful week. See you bye -bye. next time. Bye. Bye. Bless you. Thank you. Beautiful bye -bye. Holy Spirit day. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.